with about a four inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of six wins with four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds, 107.3 kilos. Fighting out of London, England, Mustafa And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a striker. He holds a professional record of 24 wins, six losses, two draws, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 233 pounds, 105.9 kilos. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko. Dan Mergliata, our referee. He is a legend. Mirko Kroka. Taking on Mustafa El Turk. Fight scheduled for three five minute ready? rounds. Are you ready? Let's go fight. First round of our fight brought to you by Activision's new video game prototype. Available now. Right hand by Turk over the top. And a leg kick. So far, Turk is showing he is not afraid. Frenetic pace by Mustafa Al Turk early. He went for the takedown, but Mirko shrugged him off. Got to be careful not to be overly aggressive. Those are some big old legs on Pro Top. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like an NFL running back. He's got some serious power in those legs, too. Prokop's waiting to set something big up, Joe. Again, another leg kick by Turk. He's throwing that swinging right hand. Check Congo on the card tonight. Ironically defeated both these men. Trying to get himself in title contention. Prokop with the straight left. Al Turk's got to press up against the cage. Mirko uh, has dramatically improved his takedown defense from the first times we saw him in Pride. And Al Turk is, is really like telegraphing these punches and telegraphing these shots. And I don't think that's going to get the job done. You have to respect his aggressiveness and his ability to bring the fight to Krokop. But Krokop might be just looking for him to make that little mistake. Throw the kick or the left hand. What it, what it appears though is that Krokop does not respect the striking of Al Turk. He's just waiting forward. Not light on his feet. He's, you know, he's plotting. He's got a welt on the right leg. Prokop does. Al Turk really moving around. That kick checked. Definitely circling on the outside is Al Turk. Al Turk is just throwing that wild right hand and leaving himself completely exposed. The only thing that's saving him is he's throwing a right. And he, and he swings it, and Krokop is uh, a southpaw. So Krokop would like to throw the straight left. And Al Turk is off to the right side. The one thing Al Turk is doing is he's, I look for the right again, he's circling left. So he's circling away from the power of Krokop. He's now he landed that one. Krokop. Krokop is opening up now. Al Turk's in trouble. Chasing down Mustafa Al Turk. Al Turk goes He's down. in big Krokop trouble. Krokop looking to finish. Mirko Krokop on top of Mustafa Al Turk. And this is where Al Turk had problems with Czech Congo. Krokop's going to let him stand up. The Croatian population in attendance here tonight. Oh, swing and a miss. Al Turk. Al Turk's done. In big trouble. He's this done. Fight. Look at this. That's it's it. over. That's it. Mirko Krokop. Opportunity and exploded. 
He took one shot, Mike. It looked like he took it in the eye. Was hurt very badly, covered up, and oh, he got poked. Oh. Oh, no. Very, that's what made him, that's what made him go down there. Yep. That is. Wow. Very unfortunate. You know, we've seen it time and time again, Mike. That is the problem with these gloves. And Dan Merkliata didn't see it. We didn't see it. We didn't see it until this replay. Very un unfortunate. The reaction you see there, Joe, makes one think that exactly what happened did. Watch it again on this replay. Boom. And El Turk immediately covers up. You see his left eye. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by TKO. Victorious here in Germany tonight, the Croatian, Mirko Krokop. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Mirko Krokop. First of all, Mirko, congratulations. I know you wanted to come back to the UFC to make up for what you felt were performances that weren't up to your standards. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Well, I feel good. I am satisfied with my performance. I think it's on a better level than it was last time in the UFC. and. Uh, I'm very happy that I returned from a very hard injury I had and a hard operation. Today is exactly five months after I had the surgery. And uh, first of all, I want to thank, huge thank to the doctors who make surgery to me, Dr. Hudetz, and all other people who helped me to recover. Now, you, you stopped him tonight, and you had him in trouble before this, but if you take a look at the big screen, what, what hurt him and what he turned his back was an unfortunate poke to the eye here. I mean, it's just one of the things that happens with those open gloves. I, I'm sure it wasn't on purpose, but give us your thoughts on that. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't felt it, and uh, I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be that way, but that's not a thing that make the difference in the fight, I think. Well, congratulations on your victory, and we hope we see you again. Mirko Krokop, ladies and gentlemen. The Croatian Mirko Krokop had some major knee it surgery last seen. December, and Sorry, here he speaks again. Pozdrav svih Hrvatima, pogotovo koji su Hrvatske došli da gledaš. I pozdrav svih gledateljima Nove TV. The message to his Croatian Countrymen here tonight, huge Croatian population here in Germany. As Joe said, it's a short flight, and they are thrilled with his performance and his victory this evening. Unfortunate, the poke in the eye. Krokop said, you know what? He doesn't think it would have made a difference, and he may be exactly right. Mirko Krokop successful in his return to the octagon here in Cologne.